What's going on guys? We're back here again today with another fantasy basketball mock draft. Today we have the 7th pick in a 12 team points league. Before we get into the video, please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. Jokic went first, Giannis second, Embiid third, Luka fourth, Curry fifth, Harden sixth. We built around KD already, we built around Tatum. Players I still do want to build around, LeBron, Harden, LaMelo, Ja, Trey. But this time around, I think I'm going to grab LeBron. Projected 53 fantasy points a game. Really, really good. And I actually think if Westbrook does get traded uh, for someone like Buddy Heald and Miles Turner, it's really going to boost LeBron's value a lot because he'll probably be running point guard. His assists will go up again. So I think LeBron could be in line for another crazy year. So let's go LeBron. There goes Tatum, LaMelo, Cat, Ja, KD, Trey Young, D-Book, Bradley Beal, Damian Lillard, and... Tyrese Halliburton uh, so they actually did put LeBron at point guard I hate that they do that and they don't allow you to pick where to put put him in AD would have been an amazing pick up here but since we have LeBron I do want to stay away from that I think we're going to bonus here or um, Bam out of bio I think we've grabbed Sabonis a good amount of times let's grab Bam as, with our second pick here I do think he's gonna be in line for a great year could even be in the deep point of the year running, but we'll see. There goes Sabonis, Paul George, Zion, uh, AD, Pascal, Kyrie, Anthony Edwards, DeRozan, Shea, Rudy Gobert, Jimmy Butler, and Nikola Vucevic. Now we have a couple options. We could go Cade, who we I really like, Donovan Mitchell, who we have not drafted yet, De'Aaron Fox, DeJounte Murray, Evan Mobley is another one, DeAndre Ayan, who I think will be in line for a good year. Um, I do think since we're kind of on the swing back i think we might be able to get someone like garland or uh evan mobley for that reason i kind of want to draft we could grab a guard just because i think we could get a forwarder i think we could get a forward on the swing back or someone like jalen brown or van fleet and i don't think players like darren fox will make it through uh, i am gonna grab fox here playing next to sabonis fox is gonna have a high usage rate and we saw after the trade how well he did last year. There goes DeJounte Murray, Cade Cunningham, Kawhi Leonard. Forgot about him. Darius Garland, Donovan Mitchell, Drew Holiday, Jalen Brown, Fred Van Fleet, Julius Randle, and Scotty Barnes. Mobley is here. So is Brandon Ingram and Porzingis. I do like Porzingis. I do like... I don't like Chris Paul, sorry. Uh, because of all the stuff going on in Phoenix. Levine, Brandon Ingram, you can't really go wrong with. But I'm going to grab Evan Mobley here. I think, again, like Allen, I think with Donovan Mitchell and Darius Garland there, it's really going to open up for Evan Mobley to get a lot of good looks. And he could really prove himself defensively this year. And we also lock up our center position pretty early. And I love that. There goes Westbrook very early. Brandon Ingram, Porzingis, Chris Paul, Terry Rozier, Zach Levine, Jared Allen, Sengun, CJ McCollum, Christian Wood, Robert Williams. Also pretty early since he's going to miss a whole lot of time. I wouldn't even draft him unless your league had an IR. Clint Capella and leading it to us. A couple options here. Could go Middleton, could go Aiton. I do, however, still like Aiton, even though I just said like the Suns very worrisome. I think he's in line for a big year, especially if there's no starting power forward. If it's Cam Johnson, um, Aiton should get a whole lot of rebounds. And I think him and Chris Paul... I think he's a little underutilized. He's pretty solid. And I think Chris Paul really needs to get him going much more often in the games. So I think Aiden's a very solid pickup here. You can't go wrong with Chris Middleton as well. Just because he's so versatile. Um, Miles Turner is pretty good just because of his blocking ability. But we talked about the rumors of him getting traded to the Lakers. And since we have LeBron, I want to avoid that. We do have, let's see, we have Bam, Fox, Mobley, and LeBron. Kind of allows us to grab someone like deandre ayton so we're really locking up our big men early on there goes Jonas valanchunas yaka Padel, chris middleton malice turner john collins yusuf nurkic bobby portis tobias harris draymond green and wendell carter It's just the big men just go so fast so um it's hard to not draft them earlier on now we do have options i see Keldon johnson ben simmons josh giddy i love these three guys this year i think they're gonna have a hell of a year uh, I also see Paolo Benchero, the rookie, Jalen Brunson, solid pickup. Uh, there's the guards that usually always drop, like Jalen Green, Tyrese Maxey, D'Lo, Tyler Harrow. 
There was available later on. I see RJ Barrett I really like as well. Um, I think I'm going to go Josh Giddy here before Ben Simmons just because Giddy can play point guard, shooting guard. The versatility kind of really does help. Ben Simmons has a lot of talent around him. He could get a lot more assists than Giddy this year, but there's also um, Brooklyn does get into the habit of going to ISO, so it could also negatively impact Ben Simmons. If Ben Simmons plays center, I think he's going to be a steal of the draft. So I'm going to take Josh Giddy this time around first. Hopefully Ben Simmons does make it around. There goes Jaron Jackson, Al Horford, Jamal Murray, Paolo Benchero, Jalen Brunson, Zubak, PJ Washington, Stephen Adams, Brandon Clark, Pokusevsky, Marvin Bagley, and Rashawn Holmes. So Ben Simmons did make it to us. Definitely going to grab him um, just because of his versatility and his defense. Really good. And really it's going to help us with our guard rotation uh, afterwards we kind of focus on our small forward power forwards just because we're kind of lacking there we do have three centers two of which you could play power forward so that's a very benef beneficial for us and lebron who could play power forward and small forward so ideally he would be slotted in here but we are most likely no we are definitely going to grab ben simmons and maybe someone like kellen johnson can make it to us kuzma will definitely be there any of these guards sadiq bay oh rj barrett's another solid one so yeah, uh, I think we're definitely grabbing Ben Simmons here. Hopefully, Keldon Johnson can make it to us. Uh, Sadiq Bey will definitely, Kuzma will definitely be there. RJ Barrett, if he can make it to us after this one, him or Keldon Johnson, I'll be gladly taking either of those. But let's go Ben Simmons for now. There goes Mitchell Robinson, Desmond Bain, Colin Sexton, Chris Boucher, Andrew Wiggins, Andre Drummond, Clay Thompson, Jalen Durant, James Wiseman, and Jalen Smith. So RJ Barrett made it to us and Keldon Johnson made it to us could go either one here i think i like rj barrett more than Keldon johnson i think it's finally time that the knicks really hand him the reins the offense instead of running through randall i think we need to run through rj barrett at this point jalen brunson's also there who could easily open up more opportunities for rj barrett it's interesting i do think it's two different tales rj barrett has a little bit more competition with brunson and randall and Keldon johnson has no competition at all but RJ Barrett, in my opinion, is a far better player, and I'm going to grab him. So there goes Michael Porter, Montrez Harrell, Jeremy Grant, Keldon Johnson, Kelly Olynyk, Isaiah Stewart, Mo Bamba, JaVale McGee, Claxton, Malcolm Brogdon, Thomas Bryant, and Karis LeVert. Now, looking at our team, um, we're doing pretty good so far. We kind of addressed our small forward issue because now we have LeBron and Barrett. Would like to get a couple more small forward power forwards, but they tend to be... Uh, going in the later rounds a little bit like in the 11 12 it's pretty easy to get someone like Mikhail Bridges or Franz Wagner or even Kuzma so we could attack that position a little bit later but at the same time D'Lo always ends up falling Jalen Green always ends up falling Maxi and Harrow they always end up falling so I think maybe we do grab another power forward small forward two options that I'm seeing Kyle Kuzma Sadiq Bey and actually also OG Ananunbi uh, I think OG last year he averaged 17.5, two and two and a half about 2.4 threes, 1.5 steals. Really good three and D guy next to Pascal, Fred Van Fleet, and uh, Scotty Barnes. I think the Toronto Raptors always play a lot of their starters, and I think OG Ananunbi is going to be having a great season. Franz Wagner is another guy I really like. However, he'll probably make it through. Uh, I'm going to grab OG here, and. There goes Kyle Kuzma, Buddy Heald, Walker Kessler, Kevin Love, Brooke Lopez, Kuminga, Onyeka, Kongwu, Mason Plumley, Keegan Murray, Sadiq Bey. We're in an interesting situation because D'Lo is still here. Jalen Green is still here. Tyrese Maxey is still here. Tyler Harrow is still here. K KPJ is still here. So got a lot of guard options. I do see Franz Wagner still available, so that's good. Bridges is also available. Jordan Poole is also here, so... We do have a lot of guard options. I think D'Lo is by far the best option of all of them just because of his assist uh, ability this year, especially with Rudy Gobert, Cat, and the Edwards taking the next step. I think D'Lo is in line for a great assist year. His scoring might be a little down, but I just think he's going to shoot way more efficiently and just be more productive overall. So let's grab D'Lo. There goes Thad Young, Marcus Morris, Daniel Tice, Isaiah Harnstein, Jalen Green, Tyrese Maxey, Tyler Harrow, Jabari Smith, Kevin Porter, Lonzo Ball, Anthony Simmons, and Kyle Lowry. So again, we have a couple of options here. We have three more picks left. Looking at our suggestions, Spencer Dinwiddie, Jordan Poole are both still here. Franz Wagner, I really want him. 
I think we may go with Franz Wagner just because he may not make it back to us. And I think he's in line for a huge year. Uh, looking at our roster, we do have into a good amount of point guards. So we could kind of stray away from the point, the guards. Uh, small forwards is picking up, power forwards. Actually, we're doing pretty good overall. I think, we get, I think we're free to grab really whoever we want at this point. We're not running around looking for players. For that reason, I'm definitely going to grab Franz Wagner. I just think he's in line for a next step. Playing next to Paolo Manchero. I think he might get a lot of open looks and hit the three ball down pretty well this year. Let's go with Franz. There goes Jordan Poole, Isaiah Jackson, Dinwiddie, Devin Vassell, Marcus Smart, Gary Trent, Laurie Markkinen, Kemba Walker, Josh Hart, and Jalen Suggs. Now, we have Mikhail Bridges here, Dylan Brooks here, another pretty solid player, Gordon Hayward. Still worried about his injuries, not interested this year. Trey Jones, Aaron Gordon, Monte Morris. So we have a lot of valuable players here. Um, Mike Conley is also available, but I'm also avoiding him. I think Dylan Brooks is most likely the best pick here, uh, along with McCall, I guess. Yeah, McCall, Dylan Brooks, and Gordon Hayward probably make the best three picks here. Could be an argument for Monte Morris or Mike Conley, but I think it goes to these three. And the one issue with Gordon Hayward, injuries, not drafting him. So we're really down to McCall or Dylan Brooks. Now we do have eight in, so I do want to avoid the Suns. Uh, I am going to go Dylan Brooks for that reason, but I think, generally speaking, I would most likely go with Mikhail Bridges just because of his defensive capabilities. Dylan Brooks is a great defender as well, but Mikhail Bridges puts up a lot better defensive numbers. So I'd probably go with him on the regular basis, but we're going to go Dylan Bo uh, Brooks this time around. There goes Derek White, John Wall, Mike Conley, Trey Jones, Monte Morris, Cole Anthony, Mikhail Bridges, Kelly Oubre, Bogdan Bogdanovich, Norman Powell, Devontae Graham, and Jordan Clarkson. Now, we do have options still. We got Barnes, we got Aaron Gordon, DeAnthony Melton, Jaden Ivey, uh, Will Barron, Lugans Dortz, Chris Duarte, Darius Basley. So some really good options still available. And Boyan Bogdanovich is still here also for the Pistons. However, they still have him on Utah. Uh, we did not draft Kate Cunningham. So I do kind of want to draft Jaden Ivey. I feel like Ivey and Cunningham are going to be really, really good together. And this year, Obviously, this is a rookie year, so there are going to be growing pains, but I think they're going to play him a lot. They're going to play Sadiq Bey a lot. They're going to play Boyan Bogdanovich a lot. And I really think they're going to let those four kind of be their team, really. So I really kind of really like Jaden Ivey. Does give us another guard to put out there. And I think we're going to go Ivey, take a rookie. There goes Malik Beasley, Harrison Barnes, Evan Fournier, Gordon Hayward, and Herb Jones. Got an A minus on this draft. LeBron James, Josh Giddy, De'Aaron Fox, RJ Barrett, Bam Adebayo, Evan Mobley, DeAndre Ayton, Ben Simmons, OG, D'Lo, Franz, Dylan Brooks, and Jaden Ivey. I actually really like this draft for a points league. Getting LeBron is always amazing. Hopefully he does not miss any time. His game count has been going down over the years, probably resulting in his lower ADP. But players like Josh Giddy, Ben Simmons, who we've kind of drafted in most leagues so far, or at least targeted because of the middle rounds, they're always available. Same thing with D'Lo, who seems to be falling in most picks, um, along with players like, well, actually, no, we didn't really grab many steals. I think D'Lo was probably our big steal, OG as well. Uh, but I think Ben Simmons and Josh Giddy are steals for their draft position. But a lot of the time you see players like um, Tyler Harrow falling, Jordan Poole falling, Kyle Lowry, D'Lo falls usually Jalen Green, KPJ. So a lot of these point guard, shooting guard, scoring type guards do end up falling. And I think that's where we could grab some value. Really solidifying in the middle rounds when they're drafting their small forward power forwards. Like Rashawn Holmes, I can grab Ben Simmons. Or Jaron Jackson, I can grab Josh Giddy. So I think there's a lot of value to, to be had in the middle rounds right here. While a lot of the power forwards and centers are being dra um, drafted away. If you can kind of get a good power forward center core early on in, in the draft, missing out on obviously some great guards, you can really get some steals in the middle rounds. So it kind of goes both ways. So overall, I really like this team. I think it's a very good fantasy contender. And that's all for this video. Please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, especially if this video helped you out. And I'll see you next time.